Welcome to lecture four on political parties. We left off in lecture three talking about parties as organizations. Now let's discuss the national committees. The national committees are often seen as agents of the incumbent president in securing his renomination. When there is no incumbent president seeking re-election, the National Party Committee is generally neutral until the nominee has been selected. Best known are the Democratic National Committee, the DNC, and the Republican National Committee, the RNC. National committees play an important role for the parties in organizing and coordinating the get out the vote efforts. Both parties target individuals based on past behavior and use sophisticated computer models to predict which individuals would most likely go and vote. National congressional and senatorial campaign committees work to recruit candidates, to train them, to make limited contributions to them, and to spend independently in some of the most competitive contests. The National Republican Senatorial Committee and the Democratic Senatorial Committee are led by senators elected to two-year terms by their fellow party members in the Senate. Chairs of the campaign committees are nominated by their party leadership and typically ratified by their party caucus. Looking at the uh, uh, national structure of the, of the campaign committees, we see at the bottom, we have the county conventions, the local committees, the party volunteers, party voters. Moving up one level, we have the state conventions along with the state committees, the congressional district committees, and then at the top we have the national committees that basically contain the national committee and the national convention, which we'll talk about next. Now, during the 1830s and 1840s, a system of party conventions was instituted. Delegates, usually chosen directly by party members in towns and cities, selected the party candidates. They debated and adopted a platform that built party spirit by celebrating. Party conventions are gatherings of delegates elected at the state level, either through a complex process of caucuses or primaries that may lead to a county and state conventions where the actual delegates are chosen. Most states have the direct primary in which people can vote for the party's nominees for office. Both parties provide some for some automatic delegate slots to go to office holders and elected party officials. The Democrats have more of these what's, what are known as super delegates than the Republicans. Hillary Clinton had locked up most of the Democratic superdelegates early in the nomination process, even from states that Bernie Sanders won in the primary. Speaking of these delegates, Bernie Sanders said, quote, they ought to seriously reflect on whether they should cast their superdelegate vote in line with the wishes of the people of their state, end quote. Now, the national conventions essentially nominate a party's presidential and vice presidential candidates. A national party convention is held every four years and is attended by delegates from each of the 50 states. The supreme authority in both major parties is the national party convention, which meets every four years for four days to nominate candidates for president and vice president to ratify the party platform and to adopt new rules. In charge of the National Party, when it is a not assembled in convention, is the National Committee that we talked about before. In recent years, both parties have strengthened the role of the National Committee and enhanced the influence of individual committee members. The National Committees are now more representative of the party rank and file. But in neither party is the National Committee the center of party leadership. Each party has a national chair as its top official. The National Committee formally elects the chair, but in reality this official is the choice of the presidential nominee. For the party that controls the White House, 
the chair actually serves at the pleasure of the president and does the president's bidding. Party chairs often change after elections. Delegates sometimes make the decisions for change that include drafting the party platform that essentially contains the party's philosophy, principles, and positions on the issues, and then setting the rules that govern the party procedures till the next convention. Now, let's talk a little bit more about the party platform. Every four years, each party adopts a platform at the national nominating convention. The typical party platform is often a vague and ponderous document, the result of many meetings and compromises between groups and individuals. Platforms are ambiguous by design, giving voters few obvious reasons to vote against the party. Platforms rarely help elect anyone, but platform positions can hurt a presidential candidate. Because the nominee does not, does not always control the platform writing process, presidential candidates can disagree with their own party platform. But the platform drafting process gives partisans, and generally the nominee through people he or she appoints, an opportunity to express their views. It spells out the most important values and principles on which the parties are based. Once elected, politicians are rarely reminded of their platform position on any given issue. Underneath the National Convention and Committee, we have the Congressional, State, and Local Committees. These are the parties at the state and local level. Both parties have organizations for each level of government at the national, state, and local level. The state and local levels are structured much like the national level. Each state has a state committee headed by a state chair, where a state law determines the composition of the committees and often regulates them. The members of the state committee are usually elected from local areas or districts. Below the state committees are the county committees, which vary widely in function and power. These committees recruit candidates for offices such as county commissioner, sheriff, and treasurer, etc. Basically, your county level officials. Often, this means trying to find a candidate for the office, not just deciding among competing contenders. For a party that rarely wins in that area, it's going to be challenging for these county committees to find somebody to actually run. But when the chance of winning is greater, primaries not the party leaders usually decide who the winner is and who will run for the office. Party leaders seek issues that they hope will add new groups or new people to the party's constituent base. They essentially play the role of policy entrepreneurs. These are individuals who identify a problem as a political issue and put a policy proposal on the political agenda. During the 1980s, Republicans used school prayer and opposition to abortion and affirmative action to gain white Southern support. In 2016, furthermore, Donald Trump appealed to anti-immigration white working class voters in his run for presidency. These are two examples of policy entrepreneurs. Now, the parties are so large and cover such a wide area. Uh, policy space that it's impossible for everybody to be on the same sheet of music. Parties are broad coalitions of people and groups who agree on a common approach to problems, but they also represent diverse interests that are competing for power and influence within the party. Now, the Republican Party is divided in four essential ways. You have the pro-business conservatives, the far-right conservatives, and the social and religious conservatives and the libertarians which are out there on the fringe. Now the Democratic Party is divided in two ways, actually is divided in more than two ways. Right now you have the moderates who are seen as conservatives within the Democratic Party. They're just a little bit to the left of the median voter. And then you have the progressives who are essentially socialist in their worldview and their political ideology. 
Um, that's the best easy way to describe that. But there are many, many more factions. These are just the, the largest ones within the party. We're going to stop there.